Hey guys, this is Justin with MPI, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a KDS with POS Lavu. KDS stands for Cushion Display System. So here we go. So here we have a setup of our mock KDS layout. So there is the screen itself, and then we also have the bump bar, which allows you to bump tickets, go through, you can color code tickets depending on if you've completed them, who's completed them, and then the brains of the operation right here is the actual BMATEC system with LAVU pre-installed on it. So today, we already have the one set up here. We're gonna show you how to set up another system. So if you look here, it'll automatically come up with your IP address once you take the BMATEC out of the box and you power it up. All right guys, so this is the BMATEC that we have here with LAVU already preloaded on it. So you notice that this is going to be the front of the Vimatech. We're gonna have a power button, a power light, a front USB port on there, and then when we turn it around to the back, we're gonna have a little reset switch there, a power indicator on the back as well, a power port. We have a VGA port for the monitor. We're gonna have four inputs for Cat5 cables, another Cat5 cable, that's gonna be the main one that we're going to be using. Then we have four USB ports here and an audio jack right here as well. So the cords that you're gonna need are going to be a Cat5 cable to give the BMATEC internet. You're gonna need a power cable to give the BMATEC its power. This is going to be the VGA cord. And then, as I mentioned, the BMATEC USB port right here. This is going to be what gives power to the BMATEC. So now we're gonna plug in the Cat5 cable into the Cat5 port. We're going to plug in the VGA port, and then we're gonna plug in the USB port there. And then lastly, we're gonna plug in the power, and then press the power button, and we are up and running. And then the system itself will automatically load on and power up. All right, so since we have these systems set up on the front end, now we're gonna go into the Labu backend admin section and change around some settings. So we're gonna to go to settings. We're gonna choose printers and KDS under the printers and technical tab. Then we're gonna scroll down here to under where it says printers and KDS. So as you'll notice, we do have a couple printers listed and then this KDS Pro right here, that is the KDS that we already have installed currently. We're gonna pay close attention to the setting names. So we see that Kitchen, Kitchen 2, Kitchen 3, and Kitchen 4 are already being utilized. So we're going to go to add a new one. For the setting, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to select Kitchen 5 since we already know that everything before 5 is already taken. For the name, we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to name it KDS2. This is where you would input if it were a grill KDS or sushi station KDS. Um, and then under the printer type, we're going to select KDS, and then once you've selected KDS, you're gonna be prompted to enter a command set. So you give, it gives you two choices, KDS LAVU and KDS Pro. KDS Pro is what we're gonna be selecting today. Um, and in the next video, we'll be showing you KDS LAVU, which is the iPad-based KDS system that LAVU has. So we're gonna se select KDS Pro, leaving all of the other fields empty. Then we're gonna hit Submit. And then as you'll see here, Kitchen 5, KDS 2. Now we're going to go to our menu. We're gonna choose some menu items to change over uh, the printer to. So as you'll see here, our appetizers are currently being printed out to KDS Pro, which is our first KDS. Same thing with desserts. For our drinks, we're gonna choose our drinks. Instead of going to the grill, we're gonna choose the printer to be KDS2 right here. And then we'll choose noodles to go to KDS2 as well. Again, you probably wouldn't have your drinks and noodle going to the same KDS, but for the demo, we will. And then you're gonna choose save to save all of your settings. All right, guys, so now that we have the LAVU KDS system set up on the back end, we have to configure our KDS and the grid system that we want to display. So we're gonna use the bump bar here. We're gonna choose menu, and then use these four arrow keys to select the the grid layout that you think works best for you and for your kitchen staff. And then after you've selected it, we're gonna choose this layout right here, and then we're gonna hit the menu button again. 
And then this right here is going to be, which if you're doing multiple KDS systems, then you really need to pay close attention to this section right here where it says viewers. Um, if you have one KDS system, then it doesn't really matter because you're only going to have one option. Um, so we're going to select and make sure that, so this first one right here is KDS2. So 192.168.1.7, that is this KDS system. And then 192.168.1.10 is our other KDS system. So then to choose your KDS, you just click the arrow button over to select it. And then you just use the up and down arrow keys to choose whichever one that you want. And then when you're done, you simply hit the menu button again, and then it'll save all of your settings. All right, guys, so now that we have the back end of Labu configured properly, and we just finished configuring our KDS screen layout, now we have to go to the iPad itself. We're going to hit the Labu button, and then we need to reload settings. And then it'll ask you if you're sure you want to reload the settings, and you're going to hit yes. So every time you make a change on the back end of Labu, you always want to make sure that you reload the settings on every single iPad that you're using so that those settings are in fact changed and that you can use those new settings. Um, in the early stages of the KDS setups, uh, a lot of people run into issues with the KDS not printing properly since they do not hit the step of reloading the settings on each iPad. Alright guys, so all settings have been successfully reloaded, so you're going to press continue. And now everything should be good to go. So we're going to change the layout from the table layout to the quick serve layout. And then we're going to go through, I'm going to do just a sample order real quick. Um, we're going to do an appetizer, we're going to do a noodle dish, um, using all of the forced and optional modifiers that we've edited on the back end. I'm going to do a salad, and then I'll do drinks. So as, as we know, I mentioned in the, the earlier video that the drink is now on a separate KDS display. So we're going to do a fountain drink, and we're going to do a bottled water drink. So now this is our list of our menu options that we've ordered, and we're going to choose the send button, and then the menu items will populate on the separate KDS screens. So now here are both of our KDS displays. So this one is the KDS Pro that we had originally set up. So that is our ticket that we just submitted. And then here is the second one that you've seen through this video with us setting it up. So then we're going to use the bump bar right here. And then if you choose bump ticket, you'll see the ticket goes away. So this is a, an excellent way of increasing your productivity in the kitchen. As you'll notice here, it does have a clock that counts up to the minute to tell you that this ticket right here has been going for almost 35 minutes. Well, that wraps up our video series for how to install a KDS for POS Lavu. Um, MPI is a certified reseller for Lavu. We are experts. We are specialists in the field. So if you have any questions or concerns or want to learn more, please feel free to give us a call at 800-518-5020 or drop us a line at pos at mpiprocessing.com. Thanks again.